What's up everybody, this is Robbie, and you are watching Geek Level Asian. You are here for another unboxing and we're about to unleash the beast once again with the Beast Morphers Gold Ranger from Hasbro Power Rangers Lightning Collection. Let's get right to it. I would say that the face doesn't look as much like the actor as Beast Morphers Red did, but I haven't taken it out yet. I mean, just by looking at it, it, it doesn't really look as much like him. Moving on. Just like the Red Ranger, there were a few of these in the store, and I examined the paint on the action figure while I was at the store, because I wanted to get the one that looked the most accurate. Uh, and the reason is, is I don't, you know, I don't want to complain the whole video, so I'm, I'm trying to give the best and nicest reaction that I can, because in the last, there was one in the store where this was just a mess, this area. It was just like gashed with black. It just didn't look right. This one definitely looks a little better. You can see where the gray is meeting the bottom of the jacket. The gray kind of overlaps a little bit. It did that on every one of the figures, but this is the one that had it the least. Weapon looks okay. It's a little bent, and again, every one of the figures were like this. They were all kind of bent. Uh, and I like his henshin device. I think that looks pretty much like the actual one, uh, which is pretty neat. And he comes, obviously, like every figure comes with some type of, like, energy ball or something of that, uh, of that nature. Let's quickly take a look at the back of the box. It looks like every other lightning figure that there is, but let's take a nice little zoom in look on here. I mean, they definitely, um, I don't want to say they, <laughs> they alter the images, but this looks obviously painted perfectly. I mean, it looks awesome. It makes the action figure look really great. Um, you know, because look at the detail on the foot right now. Like, look at all the armor on the foot. Let's flip this over. Um, that does not look like that, <laughs> but it's close. Like, you could even see, I don't know if, like, if the camera is picking it up, but, um, there are some, some paint problems here as well. All right, so let me open this guy up here. We're just gonna get rid of this tape first. And I've learned to actually use my knife to my advantage here and lift that out. There you go. Very nice. Ah, oh, that was so much faster. Okay, perfect. Oh, so fast. Perfect. All right, let's take them out. Da 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 da. Very nice. So I happen to like all gold and silver rangers. If you haven't noticed on my channel already, so I really like this. This looks really awesome. Um, I don't know if you guys watched Go Busters, but he is an awesome character in the show. I do like when they brought him back. Uh, well, I don't want to say back, but they brought him and introduced him in Beast Morphers. So I like that they gave him this hand. I think that's awesome. So before I go on, let's just take him out. Da -da 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 -da. All right. So Beast Morphers Gold. Let's take a look. Just like on Beast Morphers Red, his little shoulder pieces are um, removable. Which again, I'm not exactly sure if that's absolutely needed, but whatever. Because I like kind of like it's happening right now. Like I don't really want that to fall off, uh, but I guess it would. It makes sense for his like arm articulation, maybe. And like the other action figures, he's got complete uh, articulation in the upper torso. Um, the waist doesn't spin from what I see, but it does like kind of crouch down a little bit more. You'll see there's like another under the belt. There's like another uh, another place for it to kind of bend and move. I, well, I guess a waist doesn't really spin if you think about it. Your upper body spins. So I guess that does make sense. I actually, I was thinking of cosplaying Beast Morphers Gold, but it's like this whole area that made me not want to do it because walking around in armor is kind of difficult. And just walking around, uh, I feel like with these would just be such a pain. Uh, like to sit down and, and do all other things. But back to the unboxing. So... I mean, not much to say about this. I, I, I think it all pretty much looks good. Um, let's look at the paint application on the helmet. Actually looks pretty decent. But that's also the frustrating part about this is because sometimes you get one of these, these lightning figures, and the paint is just really not correct. Uh, again, I went to the store and, and, and picked, up like, picked up like four at a time uh, to, to choose which one that I was taking. I actually like the color of the gloves, too, because they look more, um, like, I guess, gold leather gloves would look, rather than on the jacket. I don't know, the, the shape of the hands is very realistic to me. I don't know why. I don't know what it is, but they are. All right, so with that being said, let's take a look at the civilian head. Hmm, I don't really know. I think that, I think that 
the cheeks are a little not correct. Uh, I think from the front, it looks very right, and then when you turn his head, he, he looks very strange. Like, this whole jawline area just doesn't look right. Um, but it might just be because the head is not on the action figure, so let's take this, put it on here. And like I said in the Beast Morphers Red uh, unboxing, they show the Rangers often without their helmets on, so this does look really cool, again, from the front. Let's give him a little twist and see if it still looks like him. See that? I feel like doesn't. I don't know what it is. It, it's like this, like cheek over here, like so. It it, it it's almost. You know when they say in show business, like the camera puts on X amount of weight. Like that looks weird. I don't know. Am I wrong? Don't get me wrong. These are some of the most accurate heads I've ever seen on on action figure. Oh, see, awesome. So this looks like him. That does. This not so much. It almost looks like a different character. Like. Hey, there he is. There he is. I almost wish he had his glasses on. Um, and then this, no. Let's take a look at some accessories. So like I said, I've held this actual toy in real life, uh, like the deluxe version. And so I think that that looks pretty good. Not much, not too much to say about it. They got all the, the colors right on there. You got the visor and everything. Neat. I never noticed until now how odd this sword is. Like, look at the handle on that. Like, it's just like a pipe. Okay, whatever. But it is a little bent, you know, and like I said earlier, all of the, look at that, it's like a, it's like that. Uh, all the swords on all the figures that I looked at, there were like four or five of them uh, in the store and they were all like kind of bent. You know, I'm, I mean, I'm sure I could like bend it the right way. Eh, I mean, it, it's, uh, that actually looks a little better. And then we have this thing, these always remind me of like old vintage Ghostbusters ghosts. Does anyone know what I mean? And then you've got his neat hands, which I don't think I have to really go into too much. So, interesting. Uh, I've never actually, this is a very odd pose for him to be in, uh, but I've never actually flipped the shoes over or the boots over uh, to examine them that much, but I think it's interesting that they have these holes in them. The reason is, for anyone who's been collecting toys for a long time, these holes are usually used for some type of playset. Uh, and that just might be the mold that Hasbro, who's been making toys for years and years and years, that's just what they're used to doing. But I would be very curious to know if some type of play sets or accessories for them to stand on would be coming out. Uh, if they're not, and this is just how they make toys, fine. But I would be very excited if that was, if that was a thing. All right, so let's take a look at some poses. Wow. I mean, that looks pretty awesome you know i'm actually very surprised that I, I i'm very pleased with how this looks i think the shoulder pads could be painted a little bit more that's where i'm kind of seeing like oh those look a little bit too much like plastic but i think this looks awesome the face definitely looks really good um when it's on the action figure let me swing around to see yeah i mean I mean, I still think when you get around to the side, it starts to look a little strange, but that looks really good. I mean, just look at all the detail. It really looks like a leather jacket, which I like as well, um, because these aren't supposed to be spandex suits. I think maybe that their plastic choice works better for Beast Morphers, if, if that's possible, or if that's, uh, if that's true to say. Sword looks good. It's still a little bent. The handle on the sword also could have been painted almost like... Uh, you know, like the Lord Zed staff, which was not painted very well, or if at all, so it almost looks clear. Everything looks good down the leg. Now, here's where things got a little complicated while posing him. Since his leg goes into, like, this armor boot cuff thing, that makes it a little hard to stand him upright. The balance of the actual figure, like, I had to balance... I, this isn't one of my favorite poses that I've ever done uh, with, uh, with an action figure, but I, I think it's not bad, but balancing him was a little hard. I'll be honest. It looks good. That looks really cool. I'll, uh, I'll put the helmet on him now. Um, we'll do the same pose and I'll put the helmet on him. So when I picked him up to put the helmet on, the legs moved a little bit, but it's generally the same pose. And just to give you a shot nice and zoomed in, I mean, that looks awesome. That does look really good. Let me just go down. Get another shot of those boots and the hard to position armor. But yeah, woo, that looks awesome. Now I put him in a much simpler pose because again, it is a little hard to uh, 
to balance him, but I think that looks really cool. It's funny, though, because this hand would make absolutely no sense with the civilian head, so you could really only use that, um, in my opinion, with the helmet, which does look really good. I like that. I like that a lot. That looks really good. So that's it, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me on this unboxing of the Hasbro Power Rangers Lightning Collection Beast Morphers Gold Ranger. If you like this video and you want to see more of my unboxings and all of my other geeky videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, so hit that subscribe button. You can also communicate with me on all of my social networks. You'll see the logos here and pretty much on all of those, and you can find the links down in the description. If there's anything that you'd like me to unbox next, please leave it in the comments, and I will make an effort to try to grab it. It depends on how much money it is, because all of this stuff costs money. I'm sure that you all know that. And if you'd like to support my channel, you could always head over also to the link below in the description and I'm not asking you to donate money you could always purchase some of my merchandise I have t-shirts I have stickers so see you all next time and may the power protect you